Hello everybody, I hope you are doing well. Uh, this is Dr. Vahid Ayadoust. I would like to demonstrate uh, doing regression analysis in this video using ChatGPT and I would also like to compare the results of ChatGPT analysis with uh, conventional statistical software. The data that I'm using is uh, a small part of a large data set which uh, is right in this window. As you can see, I have got two independent variables, which I have called IV1 and IV2, and I have a dependent variable, uh, DV for short. And I'd like to regress this DV variable on these IV1 and IV2 variables to figure out whether they can predict the amount of variance or the, um, the amount of uh, DV or the amount of variance that you observe in DV. Let's do that. The first thing that I have already done and I would like to share with you is to write a good prompt. I've already done that uh, that prompt and I'm, I've just copied it and I'm going to paste it right here in the window of ChatGPT 4.0. All right, so let's just paste it here. Before I run this prompt, I wanted to re remind you of uh, the data again. This is IV1. This is IV2, and the third column represents the dependent variable all the way down. So what I did was to just really copy and paste IV1, uh, 2, and DV and paste it into the window. Following that, I wrote this prompt. Uh, I'd like to elaborate on the different components of the prompt. So if you want to write a prompt, uh, the components here might be useful um, as a kind of um, template or structure that you could apply. Uh, I have started by saying that there are three columns of data labeled IV1, IV2, and DV. So this is just an introduction to the data. Then my request is uh, perform a linear regression analysis using DV as the dependent variable and IV1 and IV2 as the independent variables. So this is very clear. I think this is just a standard language that we use in statistical analysis. Then I have uh, also included estimate the beta coefficients, the t values and p values for both independent variables. And this is important because uh, it's through uh, examining the t values and p values uh, that we learn whether the independent variables are significant predictors of variance in our dependent variable. So this is important to be included. Additionally, calculate the R squared value at the end. Uh, and then I have requested to use the inter method. There are several different methods. I have discussed them in a previous video. I mean, quite several <laughs> previous videos. Uh, please watch uh, those videos on my YouTube channel if you haven't watched them. So the inter method for variable entry and round all estimates to three decimal uh, places. Because uh, Previously, I ran this analysis, the same code with uh, ChatGPT. I just wanted to make sure that it understands my prompt. And I realized that it can give you lots and lots of decimal values if you do not include um, this uh, component in the prompt. And finally, present the results in a table format. I mean, if you like to include this, uh, you can ask for table format. Otherwise, you can can just remove it if you do not prefer to uh, see the results in a table format. Now I can run the analysis, but before that I wanted to show you that under the ChatGPT button uh, uh, on, on this drop-down menu, you can see uh, GPT-40 and then GPT-01 preview, um, 01 mini, and um, there are quite a few others right here, uh, 01 mini and 4. What I would like to do is to compare ChatGPT 4.0 with 01 Preview to see which one of them performs better. And at the end, I will look at the results of the same analysis in the conventional software. In this case, I'm using JASP for the analysis. Okay, so let's run the analysis. First of all, it's going to take a few minutes, uh, maybe not a few minutes, maybe a few seconds for ChatGPT to figure out the parameters. All right, so analyzing starts. If you click on this drop-down menu, it gives you the Python code that is running in the background. Um, 
so the Python code is being written automatically and if everything goes well uh, you should be able to see the results in a second or so yeah there we go so linear regression results uh, are demonstrated both in this table at the bottom and also in this table uh, just under the Python if you are familiar with Python and are interested in coding using Python you can just copy the code from this window right here from this option in the window and paste it into Python and run the analysis you should be able to get the same results alright so let's go through the results the first thing that we observe here is is the beta coefficient for the intercept right here and also right here they are the same so uh, let me just read it from here because I think it's, it's more um, visible the intercept has gotten a coefficient of uh, 24 uh, point seven zero one with a uh, large t value which is most likely statistically significant and how do we know that uh, this is the p value the p value is zero point zero zero four and that's for the intercept right that's that's not too bad uh, if you compare it particularly if you compare it with the result of uh, your conventional software in this case JASP let me move this around a little bit here okay um, okay just please ignore that clock um, if you um, compare it you see that the unstandardized intercept at the bottom of this um, output in the linear regression tab is exactly the same as what ChatGPT has identified for us so that's really good I mean I can move this to the right to the left side so you can see it better the intercept is 24.701 uh, and ChatGPT gave us exactly the same thing which is wonderful the T value should be the same as well uh, the T value is um, yes, 3.451 which is uh, 3.451 and the, the P value is significant now as to the other two uh, variables in the analysis or two parameters in the analysis which are IV1 and IV2 uh, the beta coefficients are these two both of them are negative the first one has a significant p-value associated with this t-value whereas the second one doesn't have any significant p-value associated with it so let's look at the results of our JASP the, as, as you saw that the first t-value is almost exactly the same I want to check again it's minus 2.624 minus 2.624 the p-value is exactly the same and comparing the, t the two t-values minus 0 0.409 uh, you will see that they're also the same and the p-value is also the same excellent it did a wonderful job of analyzing the data and I'm very happy in addition the uh, R squared value which has been estimated under M1 on this uh, on top of this uh, output is uh, oops it's just jumping around uh, can you see that R squared value is 0 0.412 which means that around 40 percent of the variance is explained by our two independent variables although one of them is not statistically significant and we can confirm that 0 0.412 is the R squared value that's estimated by ChatGPT uh, 4.0 so great job ChatGPT 4.0 I'm impressed uh, the other thing is that we can go ahead and run the same analysis under um, ChatGPT 01 preview because I have heard a lot about its capabilities so ChatGPT 01 preview is chosen I'm gonna paste the same prompt exactly the same prompt into this window to see how it's doing in this scenario so just send the prompt and wait for a little bit maybe slightly longer than uh, the wait time for ChatGPT 4.0 analysis uh, for some reasons it takes more time and this is how uh, the process of thinking is uh, demonstrated in ChatGPT 0.1 so it's going to take some time let's uh, just wait and be patient to see 
what kind of analysis we will get. Uh, so let me go back to my JASP window, just re remind you that as I have discussed in previous videos, uh, under JASP you can basically run a regression analysis. Let me move this downward a little bit so you can see the window. You can run a regression analysis under the regression tab uh, under linear regression. If you click on linear regression tab you will see uh, the window let me move this back up again uh, of the linear regression so you need you got to move the dependent variable to the dependent box and the two IVs which in this case are continuous variables to the covariates the reason why we move it to the covariates is that they're not categorical if they were categorical you would have moved it to factors and I think this just gives us a decent uh, first look at the uh, results of the analysis because we get the r squared value, the adjusted r squared value, uh, RMSC, and so on. In fact, you can also ask ChatGPT to generate these statistics for you. So let's go back to the results of our analysis. All right, so as you can see, the results are out, and um, well, they're not exactly the same as what I got before. Uh, it's quite different actually. Let me close this little window there to see if we've gotten everything. Well, so first things first, it says the R squared value is way above the R squared value that both ChatGPT 4.0 and my JASP uh, software estimated. So here I don't, um, I don't think it's passing the test, I'm afraid. Uh, but for the intercept, it has done a relatively good job, actually a good job, I should say, because the estimation is similar to the estimation of... Oh, it's not actually... Oh, oops. Oh, okay, I have to revise myself here. The on standards is 24.7, whereas it's 34.1. So it's not acceptable, even though the p-value indicates that uh, the intercept is statistically significantly different from zero. Uh, in both scenarios, the amount or the coefficient of the intercept is not acceptable. Uh, it's actually estimated wrongly. In the same way, for IV1 and IV2, the uh, t-values and the coefficients have been estimated wrongly. And as a result, the p-values are not uh, reliable, even though the, the first p-value indicates that it's um, basically statistically significant. Interestingly, the p-value for the second IV has been is is now much smaller than what we saw, even though it's not statistically significant yet. Uh, I'm not sure if you run the same analysis, uh, it would produce the same output or not. Just in the, uh, I'm just cu curious to see if the same results will be replicated or it will just um, randomly output some uh, statistics out there. So let's run this again and get back to the results to figure out whether the results are the same or different. Mm, okay, the results are out. They're exactly the same as the previous result, but as you can see, they're wrong because the R squared value is way overestimated and the coefficients are also very different from the coefficients that we got in the conventional software JASP as well as ChatGPT 4.0. Uh, this is just a very brief demonstration, really. I'm not, um, at this point, confident that you should uh, only rely on ChatGPT 4.0 to run your statistical analysis, but it clearly demonstrates that ChatGPT 4.0 at this time has an advantage over uh, 01, maybe over time 01 will also be tweaked and fine-tuned and it can do a, s a similarly good job. Um, in conclusion, ChatGPT 4.0 uh, seems to be more capable of doing uh, regression analysis, linear regression analysis with two independent variables, whereas ChatGPT 0.1 totally failed to give us any good results. Um, in the future, I will see if um, ChatGPT 4.0 particularly can do more sophisticated uh, statistical analysis and I'll be happy to share the results of my finding with you on the same video channel. Thank you very much for your attention and have a great day.